Yo, what's happening, everybody? How's it going? Long time no see. Um, yeah, again, sorry I've been slacking on putting videos up. Been very busy. Not only with, you know, been getting a lot of orders. We got a lot of orders for the Mega 64 Blu-ray set. Lots of craziness going on with that. That's great. But in the meantime, I was also moving and a bunch of other stuff, which I'm still doing, as you can see. Boxes on boxes, whatever. Lots of stuff everywhere. But I wanted to squeeze a figure update in there. We're going to do that real quick. The thing is, is like this place, I've, I've put up lights everywhere. I guess that one could be on, but it just stays dark in here. And I'm still moving things around, you know, and whatnot. So you may not see everything. i got to move things around. So this is, there's new figures sprinkled throughout this place. But I, you're, we're going to have to pick them out and, you know, you're going to have to rummage through my dirty ass house. So uh, I apologize again. Pardon our dust. We're still moving. Anyway. All right. First one's first. You can't even see that. So I'm going to have to move it into the light. Um, going to the kitchen area here. All right. Check it out. Bam. Look at that. Focus. Come on. That is Revoltech Raiden from Metal Gear rising um you may remember i got a writing figure before it was play arts kai the play arts kai figures let's see if he stands there the play arts kai figures you know are like compared to this one probably be like that you know that much bigger way bigger is that a sock anyway um revoltech is a lot smaller but super super posable and i'm a big fan of the writing design in general so i knew i had to get this i like the Revoltex and whatnot. Um, comes with a little like tail here sticking out of his ass, so you know you can actually like stand and not fall over because he's got this big ass weight off of him right there to hold his sword. But anyway, super posable. I mean, everything is rad about this figure. Comes with a lot of different parts so that you can like give him a red eye instead of just a black eye, you know. Um, comes with what else? Uh, you know, a whole bunch of weapons, stuff like that. But the best part is he actually comes with, I should have brought it in here, but he comes with a watermelon. That's right. You can actually slice a watermelon in half. IRL. So it's it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Anyway, um, I think that's a cardboard box you can fold up for him to hide in. Anyway, I'm going to put that back there on the coffee table. Keep it in the living room. Um, this one I haven't even opened yet. Spoilers if you haven't seen Evangelion 3.0. But... Unit 8, that is Unit 8 uh, beta version? Yeah, beta version. Anyway, has different like arm units, has like chargeable batteries on its arm or something. Anyway, haven't even taken this one out of the box. Looks dope. I didn't get the other Unit 8. They already released an alpha version, but I didn't get that. I just waited for this. Comes with stuff for the battle with Unit 13. Um, whole bunch of shit. Anyway, looking good. There you got all these. I didn't get unit two. Wait, let's see. Which ones did I get? Didn't get that first unit eight. Got unit 13. That one's sick. Unit 13 is awesome. Unit two. I didn't need another unit two. I've got about 70 of them. And I did get uh, Mark 9 and this one. So looking good. Whoops. Yeah, I'll pick that up in a little bit. All right. Anyway, moving on. We're going to have to go into... Um, my bedroom, master bedroom. First of all, take a look at that art. I'm putting up art. Finally hanging some stuff up. It's taking a long time to focus. Anyway, big ass, just my hand for comparison. Big ass print. One of my favorite pieces of artwork. Let's just take a minute to respect, reflect, and resurrect. You know what I'm saying? All right. Get rid of this bug spray. We don't have bugs here. I don't know why that's here. Uh, this is my new jam. This is my new jam. Don't hate. Don't hate. Do not hate. Hating is bad. Star Wars Black. A lot of you Star Wars fans out there probably know about these Star Wars The Black Series figures. Now, all these Star Wars fans see these figures coming out. Revoltech, Figma, all these superposable high-end figures that adults are collecting. And they're going, where's our Star Wars figures? We want Star Wars what company is going to license Star Wars? And then Hasbro comes along and like goes, whoa, 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 whoa. We own Star Wars. Who the hell are you talking about? We're not licensing this out. What the hell? We own, we own it. So we're going to make our own. 
Bam! These are six inch big ass figures. I haven't opened this one yet. Sand Trooper. Now the best thing is you can find these in stores for most usually about 20 bucks, but Amazon just keeps randomly going, Meh, all right, $9.99. You know, they're super cheap. Um, I didn't get too many figures. Like I said, I've been moving and a whole bunch of other stuff, so I've been, you know, have to be conscientious. I'm not getting that many things. These are mostly things I pre-ordered a long time ago, but I didn't have to pay that more that much more. And um some of them came to like they made me pay. 20 bucks on some of them, but then they lowered the price to 10 and actually refunded me. So Amazon, you rock. Um, good friend, our good friend, Dark Mullet found this one in a store and I went ahead and bought it off him. Um, shout out Dark Mullet. We got Boba Fett. This one I did open. This is, I mean, figures, I don't think they get much better than this. Do they? You tell me. Look at that. Super posable Boba Fett. Some people have been telling me that they've gotten these and they've been kind of loose or to on the alternate too tight where they couldn't really pose them that much. This one's just right. So I guess I looked up anyway, Boba Fett. You can't get, you're not going to get better than that. They have a bunch of star Wars black figures that are like Han Solo and Leia in the slave outfit. But I don't think the people characters look that good. Luke looks good, but I'm going to wait until I guess series three, they're going to have Luke uh, in the Bespin outfit where he's all like hacked up, no no hand and all that stuff. Um, all right, I'm going to hunt and peck around for a couple other things. Um, it's kind of messy in here, but as you can see, I'm setting stuff up. I'll give you a little glimpse so far. I'm setting things up. I want this place to be like a damn museum is what I'm going for. Now that I have like a lot of space, I want this thing to be like just a museum. You come in, what are we looking at here? You got vinyl mations. Okay, so this is a new one right here. Uh, that is... That's one of the bigger vinyl mations. There's my hand for comparison, so you can tell it's big. That's Davy Crockett. That's old. But this one is Grizzly Peak, which is the mountain uh, in at the center of uh, California Adventure. And um, I love staying at the. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> I love staying at the Grand Californian out there. That's like one of my favorite hotels. And if you get lucky, you have a pretty nice view of that mountain. It just reminds me of that. I got to go to Company D, which is a Disney store, and normally things like that are like 40 bucks, whatever. It was a few bucks. They were seriously, things were 80% off. So like any Disney stuff I show you, probably in this video, I really did not pay for. I mean, maybe a few bucks, but that's it. Anyway, um, as you can see, like I said, gold, got to gotta respect the gold, go for the gold. A um, couple of figure arts there, rocking those figure arts. Michael Jackson snuck in with the Red Rangers, you know, he's hanging out, you know, doing his, doing his, you know, touching butts, whatever. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, um, so there's uh, Cuban Rangers, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of, bring out a lot of my Metal Gear stuff. This one was packed up for a really long time. Um, a whole bunch of Metal Gear shit. This guy fell in the middle of the night, woke me up, piss on you. Um, these, man, I used to have, I had all these Final Fantasy Play Arts figures, and I never took these out. These were just, like, in a box somewhere. Come on. So, those are on display now. Got them over there. You're probably thinking, why is a Cloud on this shelf? Shouldn't Cloud be with these characters? What are you doing? Are you even a fan? Oh, who's that? Who's that soldier? Is he next to Zack? Is it possibly uh, Cloud in his soldier days? Oh, yes it is. And I put him up here on a pedestal with this bike. To pay respect. You gotta have respect for your JRPG characters. He's a boss. Pay your respect. Pimp style. Alright, you got Samus, you got all those. You've seen all those. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I think I have a bag of stuff here. I think there's some new new figures in here. Take a look. Put it in the light, see what we get. There's some artwork there. Um these were like a buck. Can you even see that? Um, they got a whole series of vinyl mations uh, based on California Adventure, the secondary park over in Disneyland. This one's based on Cars Land. That's not one of my favorite ones, but I got the whole set because, like I said, they were clearing them out for like a dollar. So you got the mermaid one. Shouts out, mermaids. Uh, you got, what do you got? What is that one? Uh, Condor Flats, kind of an aerial area. 
that's in the park. What else? What else we got? Dig in here a little bit. Just saw that one. What the hell? Okay. You know, there's a bunch of stuff. Whatever. What are you going to do? Okay, this one's like the Hollywood land area. So you got like the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I think that's the name of it. That's the that's where the Tower of Terror is based. So, you know, they're just based on different like kind of like art themes in those areas. Less so characters. I think oh, the best one is buried in here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Oh, this isn't it, but this was only a couple bucks. Uh, I meant to get this years ago, and I'm glad I didn't because the Company D... Again, which if you don't know, that's a Disney employees only store, but um good friend of ours gave us a ticket. Um, these are t uh, Tomorrowland representatives, ambassadors, and their space helmets and all that stuff. So I'm going to get that. But the best one is in here. Where, 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 it's got to be in here. It's got to be in here. No. It's got to be in here. I promise it's worth it. Promise it's worth it. Nope. This one's based on the trolley. There you go. There it is. How can you top from Grizzly Rapids a bear? A bear with an oar. He can carry that oar. Like this guy rows a boat. 